Happy birthday. Go get hammered. I just did that. Done with the missions. Now I am literally running over to the student agency for my 11 p.m. meeting. This is what I have to do every mo every Monday because I get off work at 11 and I have a meeting that starts at 11. <sighs> what is this? Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Hell yeah. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. We should oh. go get hammered and go to trivia. Cool. Everything laser cutted. One in the class. Oh my god. Why is there two things? Oh my god. That is adorable. You're not even a zipper? Hey, look at the pattern. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear this every single day. Look! Look, that's steel made! Oh, that's one of them? Okay, I got this one. Yeah, I bet you can do that. Oh, oh. oh my god! Yeah. Oh, wow! wow. Yeah, you look... Finally done with school! It's 9.40 on a Tuesday. I decided to come here because I was too in my head and overthinking about all the things that I have to do that I couldn't even start. So I was like, might as well get my day started at school. So now I'm trying to write this whole essay before my 11 a.m. meeting. And then, then I will prepare for my board of trustees meeting with the vice president of CCAD talking about the art fair. I am so excited for that, except I'm so stressed and stressed way too thin that I don't even have time to be excited or stressed or nervous or anything and feel things. I am learning a valuable lesson right now. Don't, don't say yes to everything. I did it. I... I'm so excited. Hello, my name is Alita, and I study product design. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. I manage the Product Design Collective. Uh, no, no. I'm a co president of Product Design Collective, and I work with student. This is not gonna go well. I gotta go to my board meeting. I'm just gonna wing it. Not in like a bad way, but you know, I need to wing it because if I have a script, I will be more nervous. I just did that. I just talked in front of a bunch of important looking people about my visual legs. <laughs> oh my god, somebody at the end was like, you're such a dynamic presenter. And I'm just like, I'm just using all my hands to not be, to, to, because I don't know what to say. I'm just stuttering. But I'm so glad they were laughing at my facial legs and I didn't get to say everything that I wanted to, but I think I got it communicated with myself and being myself. So, <sighs> that was super fun. Oh my gosh. I hope I made a good impression. I always forget to shoot vertical because of my job, but got hot chocolate and saw some dogs. Six weeks. This cafe. Gabriela oh, Ford. Oh, oh, oh. All of my responses will be using this outrageous project. 
big time goal is to have a massive, the most fluffiest blanket castle that emerges in the middle of the city with a live jazz orchestra that's playing soft, slow tunes while customers get to enjoy a really warm five-star dinner experience. And after that, they are followed with a full body massage to de-stress before they go back home. And every single customer also gets to take home their own custom blanket and a plushie that, and also along with a coupon for next time they come. What brand plushie will you use? I don't know, me and my partner. <laughs> it is 12.30 midnight and I have an art market that I have to leave at 9 a.m. And I'm about to go pack all this in my car. I know I'll be running around and forgetting everything in the morning. Good morning, it is 9.30. I'm at BrewDog. This is my last art market for the year and I finished sewing everything literally this like midnight tonight or last night whatever but i'm gonna go get all my stuff in there get all set up and mentally prepare myself to be all excited <sighs> these like public art markets really get me nervous though because at ccd it's like people i know and that actually like weird fish full leg kind of things but brewdog i feel like the audience is much different and I will definitely get some, I don't want to say weird looks, but just like, okay, it's interesting kind of looks, you know? So, <sighs> let's see how this goes. I'm so happy that I get to do this and how much um, people enjoy Fish with Legs, but at the same time, I'm also a full-time student with like two other jobs and I am tired. So, I'm ready for it to be over, but I am so glad that I get to do this, so. Yay. Oh my goodness. When I say I crashed and burned, I crashed and burned. You know when you're like going so fast, like pedal to the metal, up a hill, and then you get there to the very top, you finish the, the finish line, and but you've been going so fast that you're also going downhill so fast. Yeah, that was me. That was my experience. That last half of the semester, I put in everything that i had gave up all my personal time and my personal energy all to the billion projects that came my way because i said yes to everything and i felt kind of bad about it because i couldn't put 100 percent into everything that i said yes to but at the same time it gave me a lot of great opportunities and it was super fun so i'm not regretting anything even after all my final presentations and projects were turned in i worked a little bit for the school to edit some super cool reels and tiktok for you guys and then shortly after that my family came over but then in the middle of it my father gave me the flu so i was just out for the whole week and now finally it's the beginning of january feel a little better and i was motivated enough to edit this video and actually wake up yes but this semester was wild and super exciting i got to meet and network with so many people outside of ccd but also inside ccd so i'm more i'm like super excited to take on so many like projects and give out ideas for the school to better not just my ccd experience but for everybody else's ccd experience and maybe for this vlog as well. I also got myself a cute little camera. So I'm a little more excited to record and film and take photos. So stay tuned for that. Maybe it'll be a little better or worse. Who knows? I have a feeling next semester is also going to be super wild. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you next time.